Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing all right. So, um, I just can't help it. I got to express some things that I'm feeling right now. Um, <clears throat> if I close them, I'm closing my eyes because it helps me focus. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, like I've never really, <clears throat> first of all, I just want to say in case people don't know, but I haven't been in a real relationship in uh, 18 years since I was 19 years old. Uh, so that's a long time, you know, in between that I've had like maybe half a dozen like one night stands essentially and One relationship that was just a friends with benefits type thing um, But other than that like it's been <clears throat> over I think six years since I've even been with a woman um, so, you know, it's it's been quite a while and uh, <clears throat> But throughout all of that like I've never really been super like super super excited to like just like just be with them not in a sexual manner but like even just to like to talk with them and to like <clears throat> now, i'm not trying to offend anybody or anything like that but <clears throat> this is just new to me like i'm actually like really just like um excited to just like spend time like whatever it may be if it's just like cleaning the house or like silly shit like like looking really looking forward to like that's like the moment like that's my main mo like right now um is uh just wanting to spend time with a <clears throat> Uh, you know, uh, somebody, so, uh, <laughs> uh, I think you guys know what I mean, but, um, uh, and this is a, you know, I'm sorry if I get a little goofy, but it is what it is, man, I'm excited. Um, I want to say, though, that, you know, regarding a particular person, like, um, I didn't feel this way, like, I, I was never, uh, this, this might be kind of hard, but I think I need to say it just to help clarify some things, like, I was never filled with like an intense like excitement and a yearning to like really spend time with the, with a particular person um and i think what's kind of been relayed to me is that like you know like it's, it's always felt more like a duty like a work type thing like to help this particular person out getting away from living a certain type of, of life you know and, and treating people a certain type of way and then like using her abilities in a certain manner um that you know I think it, you know that that was more the compulsion rather than actual excitement and a yearning to be with that particular person and you know for that I do you know want to apologize because I mean you know I mean I, I apologize but it's like at the time my intention wasn't like I, I just wasn't aware like I was like okay I have this strong compulsion towards this person but I, at the same time it isn't like it isn't what it is right now with, with Lieutenant Francis I'm just being real with you like that's who it is like that, that's who I really like it's not you know it's it just like spending time with her like that's what i'm uh really motivated by and i also like it's, it's rare like i don't really find many people especially females um unfortunately i wish there were more but it's hard for me to find a female that i really enjoy listening to like my, my i've been watching some of her clips online like <clears throat> i actually really enjoy listening to the sound of her voice like it's soothing like even if she's just talking about something like I enjoy it like I really do like it's 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 rare for me to find um so it's like you know there's like you know I, I just want to share that and um you know this other particular person like I didn't I never <clears throat> never had that same type of feeling like again there's always been a strong compulsion you know for what you know I'm not even sure the full reasons of that I think a lot of it has to do with me just helping her out um but I never had the same type of like excitement and like joy and like a yearning to just really want to spend time with her. And I think that has that that's one of the reasons why I also have not been as willing to communicate and watch her channel. And I've actually had a dread against like watching her channel because a lot of the times like she does not give off the type of energy that I, that I really like, to be honest. And it's like I think that's that's part of the reason. I mean, that, that's got that's obviously part of the reason why the connection you know really didn't work out or hasn't worked out all that well is because like I haven't we've been motivated for different reasons like the attraction has been for different reasons like I have always had a very compassionate nature so I think part of me was like trying to like you know help help somebody out who I'm seeing like I do like I like to help the needy out like that's just part of my heart and I you know when I upon seeing her I knew as soon as I saw her the first time on YouTube like well five years ago or something <clears throat> talking about Zen the piss boys and all this and that I was like, wow, I know this person. Like, I know her. But I can also tell she's in a very, 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 very dark place. And me getting involved is going to lead me into a dark place, too. And that's exactly what happened. And so it's like, it's not anybody else's fault but mine. Um, and, you know, I'm doing fine now. So it's like, you know, it's... 
I'm not complaining about it, but it's like I was aware of these things before I decided to get involved. And, and as you know, time has shown, I got involved and things transpired the way they transpired. So, but just on recollection, like, cause this is new to me. Like it's not just with the particular person, like all the females I was with, even the one girlfriend I was with, I was never really, really, really excited. Like super excited to just want to spend time with her. Like, I wasn't like, she was the one who said she loved me. And I was like, oh, you know, I kind of have a love for everybody. So I, I expressed love to her too. But you know, it was never like a really like intense, like, wow, it's like, like yeah, that's all I can, my mind is mainly focused like pretty much just on, on that and just like just spending time. Like, you know, it, it's very, this is a new feeling to me. Like I've, I've felt it maybe in past lives, but in this current lifetime, I've never really felt this, like this intense of a desire to just, um, you know, spend time with somebody. So I wanted to share that, you know, sorry for rambling a little bit. I had to sleep for the last night. Um, I feel much better though. The sickness is a uh, seems to be just about all gone, if not um, completely gone. Um, <clears throat> and my withdrawal symptoms are, uh, you know, other than, you know, a little bit of muscle stuff still, but for the most part they're gone too. So uh, I mean, there's still mental things I gotta, you know, work on, but the physical parts are uh, pretty much over, I think, or I hope um, should be. It's been, yeah. Um, so, anyways, I uh, just wanted to share that with y'all. Say so just. Excuse me. Uh, thank you for everybody and everything. And um, I hope a particular person is doing well. And I hope that again, this was just. I'm not trying to hurt anybody, or just. I'm just wanting to clarify, you know, where I'm coming from and why I think things may have transpired the way they transpired. And also, just for her own sake, like the more that you, you know, <clears throat> step towards that goodness, the more that goodness will step towards you. So. You know, because no matter what, like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm always gonna care for her. You know, it's a lot of it comes down to people like anybody who's got a real connection with nature. I'm gonna just like have a, a fondness for. It. Like I, I love everybody, like different levels, but I really like people that really like and respect and have a good connection with nature. And this, the particular person, you know, she does, and I also think Jennifer Aniston does too. So that's another reason why I'm just very excited. But, um, you know. Uh, you know that the particular person also just has a very deep darkness that you see like the nature thing that like, can be used it's, it's all about the intent like a gun you can use a gun for righteousness and goodness and defense and all these type of things protecting you know the poor and the innocent this and that or you can use a gun for malevolent means so same as with nature and magic like you can use magic for good you can use magic for bad so anyways but um and I think too, like I, this particular person, like when I see into her soul, like the deepest core, like the most OG part of her soul is is very, very good. It's primi primarily, purely, I would say, I don't know if purely is the right word, but it maybe came from a very pure place um, and it's been changed over time, but I can see it in her and I can feel it in her, but it's also mixed with some, some really bad dark goo. Like, and then also like with where I'm going and what I'm doing right now, the operation, because she has attachments with that dark side like still very strong and active attachments because she's been doing stuff recently that's just how i feel um that is going to hinder the progress of this operation and the dark side is going to use her attachment her chosen attachment and and, and work for association with the dark side is going to use that to the best of their ability to to, to to hinder this this good movement so it's another reason why this isn't the right time for me and a particular person and why it's it's optimal time for me and you know i'm hoping jennifer aniston or you know i mean if she doesn't want to that's fine but if it's not her um somebody else who's got a really good relationship with goodness and that doesn't just come overnight like it, it, it takes years and years and years and years of consistent work and positivity and perseverance dealing with shit and still doing your best i mean you might get vent and do this and things but like it, it's different like I don't know for sure, but I feel like Jennifer Aniston is the type of person that when bad stuff happens to her, she doesn't seek revenge. That's a big thing. That's a big character trait that I really appreciate because I'm I, I like to be the same way. Like you know, there's only one instance in my life when I've really sought, well, maybe recently, like when I was younger, I was different. But like in the past five, six, seven years, there, the only incident when I when I actively felt a desire for revenge was like when people were trying to kill my little brother. I was like. So man, with my little brother, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take it. I know it's not right, but I just gotta be honest with how I feel. Like, I don't know if I'd be able to deal with that and not retaliate. It's still not right. You know, I'm not, it's not right. You know, like, but you know, I'm not perfect. Like, obviously I've got my issues as I think we all do. Um, but, you know, in regards to other things, like people slandering me, all this type of other stuff, like I try very, very hard not to retaliate, not to seek revenge, even though there's that still that primal urge in me to want to do that. But I recognize that it's not going to help anything. Like it's 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 a blessing all this time. Like 
it doesn't bring about happiness. It doesn't solve things. All it does is perpetuate more violence and destruction and mayhem and just, just negative.